Daily temperatures everywhere in the world rise and fall according to the local weather, so it is hard to notice the average annual rise of a degree or two. But Professor Martin Siegert of Imperial College in London, the co-author of the new study, says when we look at the impact of rising temperatures on Antarctica, the picture is dramatic. We're noticing the ice sheet being lost, um, reducing in mass. We're seeing wind patterns that are changing. We're seeing ocean temperatures increasing, ocean acidity increasing changes to biodiversity. In fact, everything that we look at in Antarctica, and we've got records going back several decades now, are pointing to change. Computer models based on more than 150 measurements made on the ground and from space over the last 30 years show an alarming trend. From 1992 to 2011, Antarctica lost an average of 76 billion tons of ice each year. But in the five years that followed, the annual loss nearly tripled to more than 219 billion tons. So it's completely possible for Antarctica to contribute several tens of centimeters in this century. Scientists say the main culprit is the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But if we act now, there may still be a chance to reverse the trend. And so we have to ask ourselves, is, is that the world that we want our future to be like? And of course the answer is it, it can't be, it can't be that. And what we're saying in this paper is we need to recognize that Antarctica is changing and is heading a certain way. And we need to act now. Choices we make now um, are going to shape what the future of the southern continent is going to be like. But some say it may already be too late. The study shows some of the ice shelves have been irreversibly lost and the rise in acidity of the ocean water is likely to lead to the extinction of some marine life. George Putic, VOA News.